Hello, Lori Michelle, the Mashiach with commentary. It's time to recognize you must walk alone with God. He gave me those words. He said, this is commentary. Turn on your computer and just start talking, Lori. I've tried. <laughs> this is take two or three. And there's a lot that I can say about this topic, but it'll get too long and too wordy. Eventually, one day, I hope you'll have the patience to sit and listen to every word. There's several of you now, God bless you. You listen and you go back and watch again and again and again. Good for you. Because I say a lot. And it doesn't sound like a lot. It sounds like some stupid old grandma in Israel who thinks she's a machine. A mental case. Don't listen to her. Well, I'm here to tell you that's really who I am. You don't have to listen to me. I can't force you. But I'm putting it out there for public consumption. And if someone says something disparaging to you, like don't listen to her, You'll be led the wrong way. You need to make your decisions for yourself. Because this, and the people around you, and social media, the social media warriors, the social justice warriors, the rabbis, they all have something called ego. And they have an agenda. Some of them less. I'm listening to him right now. He said to keep going. They all have an ego and they all have a self-interest. And so do you. So you are likely to be swayed. You want the hearts. You want the hugs. Love you lots. Kisses, kisses. That's more secular nonsense talk. The rabbis, God willing, don't talk like that. Real rabbis don't talk like that. But they have... An agenda. They need to be right. They are right. They're the rabbis, after all. And often they're right. But these are the perilous times that have been written about for thousands of years. The end of days. And in the end of days, you must learn that you walk alone. When you leave this thing called a body, which is really an illusion of who you think you are. You're really not this silly body called a body. You're a soul. You're a shama. And when you leave and you're on the other side and you're facing God Almighty, you don't bring your rabbis with you. Do you realize that? You don't bring the social justice warriors with you. You don't bring your politicians or the politicians don't bring their their cronies their followers you don't bring your lawyer you don't even have a lawyer god forbid <laughs> we don't want lawyers on the other side and you can't say to hashem well i made the wrong decision because my rabbi told me to do it you won't like that an excuse it's an excuse does he take into account that you were pushed around in this physical world? Yes. But you can't go on the other side and mouth off excuses to him because that's what they are. You must learn to make your own choices. You can listen to advice, but at the end of every decision, it must come from who you really are. And you're not this. And how do I know this? And how can you know this is really not who you are. Who you really are is invisible. Everything in this world comes from the invisible to the visible. And if you make decisions based on what you're looking at, like your angry rabbi or your angry mother or your angry father or your spouse, they're angry because they want you to do what they want you to do. And you can't do that. You got to make your own choices. 
you came into this world adorable a newborn baby everybody thinks you're cute you're a toddler adorable really and then you get older and then you're a teenager and you're annoying but you're hot and sexy and you know you got the girls you got the boys and you get to be 50. Ugh. You're 50, you're a husband. Do you realize you're a husband at 50? Not yet. You still think, I look pretty good for 50. Then you become 64. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? And the answer is, drum roll, no. You don't need me anymore at 64. I'm old, maybe some of you want me at 64, some of you do want me, but I can't play that game because I'm really not 64. I am 64 in flesh, but I was also a toddler and I was also a teenager. And I was also here many, many times before I was Laurie Michelle. So who am I? The visible spark of God. And when I'm here, I'm here for a purpose. And you're here for a purpose. And your purpose is to walk alone with God Almighty and make your own decisions. You're here to bring his energy into this world through your mouth and through your decisions. You can be influenced by this one and that one. But at the end of every decision, out of every utterance, must come your soul's decision. Because when you face him, after you leave this illusion of your physical body, you face him alone. So when you're here, now, in the end of days, walk alone. But you're really not alone. He's really... He's there with you, whoever you are. He's there with you, walking with you, talking with you. But you hear him as Sandy, Sally, George, whatever your name is. That's what you hear. You hear your own voice, but it's really a disguised voice of him trying to push you and pull you and encourage you to go the right way. So when you see a terrorist changing documents and faking that they're making good choices for your benefit to make peace, they make peace. You need to be smart enough like Israel to say, we're going into Rafa because we walk alone with Hashem. And Hashem will guide us and protect us. It's all about Israel, right? It's all about Lori Michelle, right? No, it's not. <laughs> he just said, but yes, it is. Learn from Israel because they are the beacon of hope for the entire world. The Jewish people are his chosen people for a reason and a purpose. And Israel is learning right now, recognizing Israel walks alone with Hashem. Israel doesn't need anyone but Hashem, and neither do you. You must make your choices based on your soul and your connection to Hashem, and not be influenced by the terrorists trying to sway you and get their way with you. Be strong, be vigilant, choose God Almighty. These are the end of days. The stakes are do or die forever. You do it wrong, a discussion for another time. Scary stuff. But I'll end on this note. He's wow, people. He's real. I'm telling you the truth. It's great news. He's your judge. 
Stop listening to the terrorist trying to sway you to do the wrong thing. Do the right thing. He will help you. He will hold you. He will carry you through the storm and you will win with God Almighty. He just said yes. God bless you.